Right. Let's try this again. Lovely. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that just awesome and stable and something we should all strive for in life? No? No, maybe not? No? Well, let's go out in style. Banzai! Fire everything! Huh. Hey, Thomley. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? You can tell me. I'll save you. When it comes to a ship that's as horrible as this one, it may be good to leave the RCS on. I also haven't turned my throttle all the way up because I think, I'm not sure, but I think there might be a maximum speed or air resistance or you can't accelerate too fast. Um, because if you do, you're just wasting fuel, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I look like I know what I'm doing? When you look at ships that I've made, does it seem like I know what I'm doing? No? Uh, I didn't think so. Ah! Look at all that, see? That really shouldn't have taken that long to do things. That was exciting! It really was! Ah, those engines went flying. This thing looks like a horrible missile. Just horrible. Well, we are accelerating. Uh, we are moving very fast. But, oh my god! Oh my god, look at that! Go, 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 go! You can do it! Oh my god, you can do it! You might make it into space! Shit! What the? Oh! Wait, when did that... What? How have my... I'm so confused now. Engines, they were... They were on the whole time? Wait, when did they detach? Did... What? What? I don't know what just happened, but I'm going to just make a maneuver node and get into space. Come on! We're so close! We're so close! Uh, thrust forward! Maybe maybe the monopropellant will be enough to get us into orbit. Uh, maybe not. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this. But we got a bunch of fuel in these tanks. Oops. We were throttled up doing that. Two tanks! <laughs> we're gonna run with two tanks of fuel. Come on. Just gotta get that to 70 clicks. There! I just barely made it into orbit. And we're gonna set this as the target. Look at this. This is just... Ugh, oh, I can't believe it. I have depleted... Mm, part of my fuel reserves. <laughs> which are gonna be meant to refuel my ship. And these are like completely empty. All right, well, I'm going to have to put a bit of fuel into these engines and uh, work from there. Okay, we've used our reserve fuel to refuel two of our four engines, but uh, now that we're up here, we shouldn't really need the other two. Yeah, this isn't exactly the most um, efficient use of fuel I've ever had. Uh, this has actually been pretty bad for mission. I'm going to need to turn these tanks back on, these monopropellant tanks, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out if I don't. And honestly, I don't need to refuel a lot of monopropellant on my uh, other ship, the Venture. So I'm going to accomplish something here that I haven't done yet in this series, and that is what's known as an orbital rendezvous. 
An orbital rendezvous is basically, well, rendezvousing in orbit. We have ship A over here and ship B over here. The objective is to get ship A and ship B to be at the exact same place at the exact same time. You would think that might not be too hard if you've never played this game before, like, hey, just fly them at each other. But looking at this, it's actually a lot more difficult than it sounds. You have to line them up so that they're, uh, well, basically on the exact same orbital plane, um, in every way, <laughs> and then get it so that it's timed just right so that they're going to intersect at a point where you can, you know, slow one down or speed one up or whatever and actually get into the exact same orbit because that's what you have to do, get into the same orbit. So to begin, uh, well, at least for how I've done this before, you have to first off get onto the same plane. So these ascending and descending nodes, you can do that at those nodes. So first off, in about five minutes, that's my next node, there is an ascending node. What we need to do is change our uh, alignment so that the ascending node and descending node are as close to zero degrees as possible. There we go, step one complete. Step two, where it actually starts getting a bit more difficult is, uh, well, you can see these are the intersect points. So in 57 seconds, I will intersect with the orbit of uh, my target right there. Yeah, we're going to intersect with their orbit. When I intersect with that point, my target is going to be, oops, over here. Target position at intersect one. Then my next intersection is over here in about 18 minutes. That intersection, I'm going to hit them here. So from this point, it's uh, I've got to once again line up a bit more. I've completed the first phase of my alignment, but I need to try and make it so that these intersect points come together. As you can see, if I shorten this, well look, it brings my intersection right around here, but look, I'm just going to drop, so that's not going to work. All right, we've got ourselves even more lined up. As you can see, though, my uh, apoapsis is uh, a decent amount higher than my targets. The reason being is it's going to be a waiting game. As you can see, our first intersect point has a separation of uh, 1,200 meters, but our second one has a separation point of almost a kilometer. So it's been it drops. So every time we spin around, we get closer together. So I've just got to spin this around until we get close together. <laughs> now look at this. As you can see, my next intersection point is over here. And we have a separation of 29 kilometers. But the one right after, separation of 2.6 kilometers. So if I wait until I get to that point, I'm getting very, very close, close enough almost, to make the rendezvous itself. Okay, now, we are very close together. The next part is very important. We have to kill this. You see target velocity. I need to burn retrograde to my target. And by doing so, I lock in our orbit. Well, as you can see, we're going to stay at about 3.7 kilometers away from them the entire time. It'll you know, increase and decrease a little bit, but that's just how it is. Because we're barely moving in relation to the target. In relation to uh, the planet, I'm still moving quite uh, fast. But in relation to the target, not so much. So I just need to find the purple circle. There it is. Purple circle. Pink circle. Ooh! Stop spinning! Pink circle. And accelerate. 